In this video, we will show how to use TrueLove Galeria Melanella as an infection model. The TrueLove Galeria Melanella infection model has been reported for over 50 clinically important bacterial and fungal pathogens. Gram-negative pathogens include Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Campylobacter jejuni, and Acinetobacter baumannii. The gram-positive bacterial pathogens include Staph aureus, C. diff, and strep pyogenes. Also, the model has been reported for select agents, including Francisella tularensis, Coxiella bonetii, and Bacillus anthracis, and also a number of clinically important fungal pathogens. In this video, we will demonstrate how to assess the LD50 of a pathogen, and in our example, we're using Acinetobacter baumannii. First, set up an overnight broth culture of your pathogen of choice. In this example, Acinetobacter baumannii. Measure the optical density of the broth culture using a spectrophotometer and adjust to an OD of 1. For our strain of bacteria, an OD of 1 is approximately 5 times 10 to the 8 CFU per mil. If you don't know the CFU equivalent of the strain that you're working with, you can plate out a dilution series and measure the CFU per mil. From the overnight culture adjusted to an OD of 1, Set up a range of dilutions to inject into the larvae. For Acinetobacter baumannii, we will inject 10 to the minus 1, 10 to the minus 2, and 10 to the minus 3 dilutions. Set up the dilution series in sterile Eppendorf's to a total volume of 1 mil with sterile PBS. 900 microliters of PBS mixed with 100 microliters of the overnight culture adjusted to an OD of 1 will give you the minus 1 dilution. 900 microliters of PBS mixed with 100 microliters of the minus 1 dilution will give you the minus 2 dilution. For the minus 3 dilution, take 900 microliters of sterile PBS and add 100 microliters of the minus 2 dilution. Inject 10 larvae with each dose with a volume of 10 microliters starting with the lowest dilution and working up to the highest dilution. For Acinetobacter baumannii, an OD of 1 is the equivalent of 5 times 10 to the 8 CFU per mil. So a 10 microliter injection is 2 logs lower and is the equivalent of 5 times 10 to the 6 CFU per larvae. Challenge 10 true larvae Galeria melanella with the 10 to the minus 3 dilution. Challenge 10 true love Galeria melanella with the 10 to the minus 2 dilution. And finally, challenge 10 true love Galeria melanella each with the minus 1 dilution. Remember, for the strain that you are working with, the dilution series required to calculate the LD50 may vary, and this will take some optimization. In addition, set aside 10 true love Galeria melanella as no injection controls and 10 larvae should be injected with PBS as an injection control. To measure the actual doses injected into the larvae, plate out a dilution series of each dose on LB agar plates down to the minus 6 dilution and measure the CFU per mil. Incubate all true larvae at 37 degrees or the temperature relevant to the strain with which you are working. Select the time course relevant for your strain. In this experiment, we score the larvae after 24 hours, but this will vary depending on the strain and could be up to 72 hours. Score the larvae for survival. Note down the survival of the groups of larvae infected with each dilution of bacteria. Enter the data into your statistical package and calculate the LD50 of the bacterial strain. 
This experiment can be repeated three or more times to provide greater statistical power. Using TrueLove Galeria melanella as an infection model, it's possible to determine whether isogenic mutants of bacterial or fungal strains are attenuated for virulence. It's also possible to assess the relative virulence of environmental and clinical isolates of pathogens. Building on the use of Galeria melanella as an infection model, in the next video we will show how this model can be used to assess the activity of antimicrobials.